show. Today, I am going to talk about nosy relatives. So, I come from a family where everyone's got a PhD in the subject of nosiness. Seriously, they should open a university for it. My mom could be the dean, and my grandma would be the chancellor because, trust me, she knows everything happening in the neighborhood before the news even does. You know, my grandma should have been a detective. She has this uncanny ability to solve mysteries that don't even exist. I once came home with a bag from the mall, and before I could say a word, she asks. Who's the lucky girl you buying the gifts for? I said, Grandma, it's called a sale? No girl involved, just me and my love for discounts. She is also more active on Facebook than the FBI. Once, I posted a picture at a restaurant, and the next day, she asked, how was the food at Luigi's last night? I was like, Grandma, are you my stalker or my follower? <laughs> Grandma also has this overprotective wisdom. Every time I leave the house, she hands me a list of safety instructions. Lock the door, watch your step, and don't talk to strangers. I'm an adult, but if I don't follow her checklist, it's like I've committed a crime. Last week, I forgot to lock the door, and she called me in a panic. Arian, the door was open. Are you still alive? I said, Grandma, I live in a safe neighborhood, not a crime thriller. Once we had this family reunion. Nosy relatives everywhere. It's like the Gossip Olympics, and they're all competing for the gold medal in prime. My Uncle Eddie, he's the family investigator. He's got this magnifying class and everything, Sherlock Holmes style. He pulls me aside, serious face and all. Arian, we need to talk. There are rumors you might be a secret agent. <laughs> secret agent? I can't even keep a secret recipe for omelette. Arian, I've seen you with those avocados. I was like, code for classified documents, right? I tell him, uncle. The only thing classified here is mobile phone. Then there's Aunt Rosa, the gossip queen, with a rumor for every occasion. She's got a hotline to the rumor mill, and she's the operator. She came to me and told me, did you know your cousin's hairdresser's cousin is starting a band with the plumber's nephew? And I'm like, Aunt Rosa, I just wanted some burgers, not the extended remix of the family tree mix tape. And then I have my cousin Juan, the nosy philosopher. He's like the Socrates of the suburbs. Arian, did you hear? Your cousin's goldfish is dating the neighbor's hamster. It's a forbidden love story. I'm thinking, I just wanted some chips, not a front row seat to the animal kingdom's hottest romance. So, here's the deal. If you have a nosy family, embrace it. They mean well, and they keep life interesting. Just remember, even if you try to hide something, they've got a nosy radar that's never wrong. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. You've been a nosy, I mean, a lovely audience. That's all for today, friends, until next time. But before you go, please press the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss my next video. Bye-bye.